To successfully replace your Fiesta ST timing belt, you will need the correct locking tool set. I will show you why later on in the video. But to start, it may seem extreme, remove the driver's headlight, this gives loads more room for the repair. Remove the coolant header tank. This will give access to the engine mount and belt. Safely support the engine, then remove the engine mount. Before the auxiliary belt is removed, loosen the 410 millis on the water pump pulley. Disconnect the battery and isolate terminals so they can't reconnect. The alternator now needs removing, this is quite easy, disconnect the power lead and multiply. There's 3 16 millis, then it will lift out with idler pulley. The tensioner can be removed. Next up it's the timing belt cover. There's quite a few bolts. There is a hidden one at the back left. The cover can now be lifted off. Giving access to the belt, but before the belt is changed, the engine inner mount needs removing. I marked up the belt and flywheel for reference. We're not going to use these marks, this engine is a free floating crank. We now need to lock off the cams and crank. These are the tools for locking off the cams and crank. The crank locks off behind the drive shaft, you will need to remove the central bearing bracket, then remove the 10mm plug. Using a impact gun, loosen the bottom pulley bolt, and remove the pulley. Bring the dots on the cams to 11 o'clock. Insert the crank locking tool into the plug hole. Screw the tool all the way in, then turn the crank until it locks. The cam tool should now insert like so. With the cams dots at the top. Take note of the marks on the tool. Release tensioner to remove the belt. Then the tensioner can be removed. At this stage it's worth replacing the water pump. So remove and replace. Once the water pump and tensioner is replaced, refit timing belt. Then release the tensioner pin. This should correctly tension the new timing belt. Now remember what I said earlier about getting timing correct. There is another tool, it lock off the crank pulley. This is also timed. You will need to remove the crank sensor. The tool bolts on in its place. Then the pulley will slot in at the cutout on the back of the pulley. 
Ensure the crank pulley drops into the tool cut out. Then tighten the new pulley bolt. Now remove all three locking tools, turn crankshaft to full revolutions. Now reinstall locking tools to ensure correct timing of the engine. Once happy, rebuild in reverse order. If you have any questions, or comments please leave them below. Thanks for watching.